What's up everyone? It's Marion with Restoring Ghettos Forgotten and I am here today with a short conversational piece and the title is called The Sexual Freedoms That We Practice. Is it truly freedom or does it enslave us more than we think? So I'm going to get right to it. If you haven't done so already, please click, click and subscribe on my YouTube channel for more Real Talk videos. So I'll just get into it. Um, this topic came about with a conversation that I've had with more than one person, and it's about our sexual freedoms. And it's a consensus among my peers and even some younger people because I discuss different topics with a wide range of people of different ages and different, because I like to learn. I'm a learner. I'm a lifetime learner. So, you know, the topic will come up and we'll talk about it. And I like to get a consensus amongst my peers and people younger than me and even people older than me to see what they really believe about this specific, this, uh, specific topic. And it, it's become a consensus amongst the people that I have recently talked to is that nowadays we're not entering into real life love courtships and relationships we're entering into situationships a lot of you have already heard that word that that word is not new but not only situationships we're entering into the realm of now everybody wants to have threesomes and foursomes and whatever um it seems as though our morality is um leaving us it's 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 like to me, intimacy should be between two people that decide for whatever reason they're attracted to each other and they really like each other. But I know that's so far uh, out of the spectrum of what things are really, but that's what I believe. That is my belief system. And I don't believe it'll ever change for me. Uh, so for me, intimacy means it's between two people, not this whole group of people that people are bringing into their lives. And, and, and um, I was asked not that long ago, just a general question, uh, because, you know, because of my age or whatever, and some of my life experiences, and I was asked, you know, had I ever participated in one? And I've, I've been asked this question, um, uh, like even in my youth, I was asked this question, and I don't I don't think people believe me, but I, I tell them, no, I've never experienced it. I've never wanted to experience it basically because I believe in intimacy. And to me, more than one person is not intimate to me. It's just sex. And I know I'm not judging anybody. People are out there and they just want to have sex, great sex or whatever. But that's just not me. And that's not a lot of people. And so um, I, I thought that I should make this video to kind of kind of help us figure out where we really are uh, in the spectrum of what it is we believe in, our morals, our values, have they left us, does it even matter anymore about um, if we're doing what God wants us to do or not, you know? So the consensus comes up is that it's always a topic amongst the different age groups that I've spoken to. So it's prevalent even in my age group, the younger age group, and um, people that are older than me. Um, now, what I did miss was, I, I, I would tell people, no, I haven't experienced it uh, because I believe in intimacy is only between two people, but also because of my energy. And I don't want to connect to strange, unclean energy. So that's another reason why I wouldn't do it. Because I think people miss the fact that um, when you do decide to open yourself up, you are releasing energy and the other person is releasing energy as well. So say for instance, you with this strange person that somebody else brought in and then you're, you're experiencing this person. You don't know what God they serve. You don't know what their religious practices are. You don't know how clean they are. You don't know what their HIV status is. You don't know what type of diseases or STDs they have. You're opening yourself up to other energies and even body chemistry that may eventually harm you. So that's another reason why I would never open myself up to something of that sort. And so I said all that just to give an example of my life, but that's just me. There's a whole nother world out there, you guys, and I'm probably sure you already know about it. Um, but I don't think that's where we need to be moving towards. And I'm not saying that it just started because it's been going on for centuries. Um, even when you go back to the Bible, Sodom and Gomorrah, where everybody was just doing everything with everybody and nobody had morals and nobody had values. And then what had to happen there? Okay. So, um, 
that's all this is about. It's just trying to make us come back home to the basics um, and just really find um, true love and happiness. And I truly believe that the reason why many of us cannot connect to other people is because we're so connected to so many other people. It's like you have nothing left to give because you've left all these parts of yourself with other people that wasn't significant in your life. And now when it comes time for you to connect to someone significant, you can't because those parts of yourself you haven't reclaimed. So you actually need to go back into a spiritual cleaning to detach yourself from all these different soul ties that you've established over the years of just having casual sex. Uh, I've, I've said this in many of my other videos and I really do believe in uh, energy and vibrations and all of these things. And it's like some people have very dark energy and very dark vibrations. <sighs> and I just got to chill just by saying that. Um, and you have, we have to be real leery of that. And we have to be very careful that we're not connecting ourselves to this energy and this vibration. Because before you know it, you're doing stuff that you normally wouldn't do. And it's all based off the fact that you've connected yourself with the wrong energy. So that may be something we want to think about. And I also wanted to bring up, I have my little notes here because I wanted to stay on point. Um, but I believe many times than not, um, love won't last because lust has taken over. And people have uh, commod um, people have made other beings commodities. Like it's just for self-fulfillment, self-gratification. That person is no longer human. That person is an object. We've ob objectified people to where they, they're we don't even feel like they're human anymore. So we can just say, oh, it's just sex. It doesn't mean anything. We're not connected. We have no love loss. And I just believe we shouldn't be so uh, blatant um, about our emptiness. To me, it's like a certain emptiness that has to occur in you where you can't connect to people in the right way. And that's just my opinion. Um, but I, I wanted to do this video because I believe with all certainty that some of the voids that we have inside of us that makes us want to go out and experience these things is something that no amount of sex, no amount of drugs, no amount of alcohol can ever feel. Only God can feel our brokenheartedness. Only God can feel uh, the voids we have inside of us. And uh, only God can fill us with his living water so that we shall not thirst any longer. So I want to encourage everybody that um, that has determined that they're going to stick with what they know. They're going to get back to the basics of being a good human being. And they're going to just pride themselves at, as not allowing other people to... Um, per se, have you open up this Pandora box of things that you can't. And once that box is open, you don't know how you're going to get back. So I want to encourage people that has decided that they're not going to live their lives that way, that they're going to wait on the right people that know how to honor the person that they're romantically involved or interested in. You're going to wait on those people that are uh, authentic and genuine, and they want more than just sex. They want an actual commitment and, and they're healthy and they're whole and they're able to give you these things. That's what I want to encourage people out there, people like myself, that believe in the sanctity. I still believe in the sanctity of marriage. I believe in authentic engagement and um, I don't need any extra. Actually, I'm enough just by myself, so I don't have to have all the extras involved. Um, so I'm complete within myself. So I don't need to bring all these people in to make me feel good about myself or to make me feel whole, if that makes sense. Um, and I just pray that the people that feel that shares that experience with me, that you will continue to hold fast to your, your morals and your standards and your values. And understand that at the end of the day, you have, we need to be pleasing God more than we please ourselves. And I'm not saying we're not going to slip because we're human. We're fallible. We're born to make mistakes, but we can't lose ourselves in that. We have to remember that we do need to have healthy boundaries and we need to keep ourselves firm to our beliefs, whatever that may be, and not let, let other people infiltrate some things that you already have in your core. 
and, and, and just hold fast to that. So that's what this video is about. This is not about me shaming people that has, uh, that do believe in sexual freedom um, to each his own, you know, but this is about the people that have, because I've talked to, you know, women, I've talked to women and um, men, you guys have a whole nother conversation, but I've talked to women and, and it's really um, a disheartening that when a, a woman meets someone, and I'm not saying this has happened to me, um, because if it has, I, I nip it in the bud right away. I know who I am and I know who I, whose I am. But I, I have talked to other women that said, you know, I met this really nice guy. And then I said, okay, so how's that going? Girl, you don't want to know. This this brother here, want, he wants an open relationship. He wants to be able to do that, this, that, and the third. And so it's disheartening because that person then have to say, well, I can't talk to him anymore because... I don't do that. I don't share my man or I don't I don't want to be in a situation like that. And all I do is I encourage her and say, you know what? I'm proud of you because you're taking a stance on because you know who you are and you know whose you are. And the right person with the right energy is going to come along and appreciate who you are and whose you are. So um, I think that's it. I wanted to put this out there. There's a little bit more I wanted to say, but my day is going to be extremely busy and I need to get out of here. Um, but with everything, we must have balance. I wanted to say that we must have balance in everything that we do. We can't let anything to consume our time and our energy and to distract us from where it is God is leading us. And I think a lot of us have been entertained so long that we're missing our purpose, that we're missing our assignments. And, and it's being clouded by all the lust and all the debauchery and all the things that puts a film over our eyes so we can't see life clearly. We're walking around in this fog and we don't even realize we're not even living out our purpose because our energy has become convoluted, dirty. Uh, we have become lukewarm uh, to where we're no good to anybody because we're neither hot or we're cold, we're just right there in the middle. And I challenge you guys today to take back your power, the, the very power that God has put inside each and every one of us. We need to claim that power and we need to walk in that power so that we can be the best versions of ourselves every single day. We cannot be followers. We need to be leaders. This world needs leaders. Our children needs us to be leaders. Our children's children needs us to be leaders. So we have to make sure we're not walking and following the world. We have to hold fast to our beliefs and what it is God has already put inside of our heart of who we are and stick to that. And you're going to pray away anything that's unclean, any any person that's trying to come around you and convince you of stuff uh, that is not of you. You're going to pray those people away and you're going to get them away from you because I guarantee you the very thing that you desire in your heart if you keep desiring it and you put out good energy and you do right by people, you're going to get exactly what you want. So this is just an encouragement video. And the topic is uh, the sexual freedoms that we practice. Is it really freedom or does it enslave us even more than we would think? And I think it does. I think that once you open that Pandora's box, it's kind of hard to close it. And I think it destroys. It destroys a lot of relationships that could have been good and solid if both parties would have been healthy and whole enough to know that they don't need so many other counterparts to fill them in ways that only God can fill them. So be encouraged. I um, encourage you guys to love yourselves, love God, love yourself, and then love everybody after that. Take care of yourself and each other. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.